Our own Colian Noir got noticed last week by a writer at the left wing Media Matters for what Colian said about minorities and guns. Colian took to the screen to push back. Take a listen. This Negro pity party is getting old. And if you really want to help black gun owners, how about you start changing the narrative and glorify the countless positive images of black gun owners and the non-black gun owners who embrace them and stop force feeding us inferiority. All right, so that, Colian Noir, thank you for joining me, sparked a Twitter war with, with the folks over at Media Matters. Uh, it's a war that I believe you're actually winning, and thank you for that. Well, thank you, Grant, because there are probably <laughs> some other people who don't necessarily see my side of the argument, but, you know, it's good to have people on your side. Go figure, I see your side of the argument, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> so what sparked all of this? Um, I did a response to uh, the the Washington Globe, Boston Globe uh, about minority or people of color owning firearms and how we're more inclined to be killed and becoming more dangerous for us to exercise our Second Amendment. I didn't really care too much for that article because I thought it fostered and instilled the notion of, of, of inferiority in people of color and their right to own a firearm. What ended up happening is you have Media Matters, somebody writer at Media Matters, I believe his name is Timothy, Timmy, I can't remember. Um, he, he responded and he wrote an article basically saying that I was diminishing the notions of racial disparity in interactions between police officers um, in my critique of the Boston Globe article, which is the complete opposite of what I was doing. If anything, I was empowering the notion and the idea of firearm ownership in people of color. You know, you have to wonder, because as you're telling the story, I knew exactly what you're talking about. How do they get it so confused, or are they not confused, and they're simply trying to confuse the people that are reading their articles? Media Matters has been slandering me for years. I literally mean years now. From the moment I started with the NRA, from the moment I started with my own show, Media Matters has been writing hit pieces on me for as long as I can remember. The irony behind it is it's always angled in the way of race. But what's interesting is Media Matters completely and utterly ignores everything that I've done to provide a platform for people of all colors, of all nationalities, to talk about exercising their Second Amendment rights. So I find it odd that they only latch on to me when they feel they can try to spin what I say and make it look negative. 